Welcome to the Virtual Classroom Tutorial at the Problem Site. This tutorial is a quick how-to lesson for teachers getting started for the first time with the Virtual Classroom. Today you will learn how to accomplish fundamental tasks like adding students, creating classroom groups, assigning activities, and viewing reports. In addition to the features you'll learn about in this video, you can also create problems, quizzes, printable word games based on your vocabulary lists, reference units, and printable mazes. If you are ever unsure what to do next, click the question mark icon to get context help on your current screen. The first step in using the virtual classroom is adding your students to your control panel. Click on the Students menu option on the left, then click the New command option. A form will appear in which you can create member accounts for your students. Type your student's first name and last name. Based on the name you type, the site will generate a login name for your student. The site also creates a password for your students based on a dictionary of common words. If you don't like the selected password, click Generate New Password. And if you don't want to use the dictionary passwords, you can create your own passwords by typing letters, numbers, and symbols in the password space. When you click Submit, the site will display a printable screen containing the student's user information. It is imperative that you print or copy this information because once you leave this screen, you will no longer have access to the student's passwords. Give each student their login information so they can access the assignments you create for them. In order to simplify assigning, grading, and reporting, it is helpful to add your students to groups. Groups will often be based on class, so groups may have names like Algebra 1 or Chemistry Period 5. Click on the Student Groups menu and then click the New command. Type the name you want to give the group and click Submit. Now you will see a screen containing a list of all your students. Check the ones you want to add to the group and then click Submit. Now that we've created a group, let's assign an activity to that group. Click the Student Assignments menu option and then click the New command. Here you can select the activity for your students to complete. The activity could be a game, a quiz, a reference unit, or a problem to solve. Today, we'll ask the students to complete the Entrapment Math Game. Notice that when you select an activity, several options will appear. Each activity has its own set of options. For Entrapment, you can specify one setup parameter how many dots will be in the game. For the entrapment activity, there are two success parameters, how quickly the student can complete the activity and how many clicks it takes them to do so. For this example, we don't care how quickly they can complete it, so we will leave that entry blank. However, we want them to complete it with no more than 10 clicks, so I enter 10 here. If the student takes more than 10 clicks, the game will not count as a success. Notice that there is a place to enter a success count. This indicates the number of times the student must have games that meet the success parameter requirements. If we enter the number 5 here, that means the student must play the activity enough to meet the success criteria 5 times. If you choose, you can add a comment may also set the due date. The due date defaults to one week from when you created the assignment. After submitting the assignment, choose which students to assign it to. You can either assign the activity to individual students or to a group you've created. In this case, we'll assign it to the group that we've already created. Now let's see how this looks from the student's perspective. 
The student selects the virtual classroom from the GoPro menu and then chooses the activity he wants to work on. Notice that the criteria we specified appear on the screen so he knows what we expect him to accomplish. When he clicks play, the activity begins. In this sample game, the student is able to meet the game requirements, completing the activity with fewer than 10 clicks. Notice that the game report tells the student that they have met the criteria and must complete the activity four more times to be finished with the assignment. Back in the control panel, if we click on the assignment, we will automatically go to the report for that assignment. Click on the student's name to view details of their progress through the activity. The appearance of the report will vary depending on the activity assigned. For example, if you have assigned a quiz, the report will show you exactly which questions the student missed. If the assignment is a problem or reference unit, the report is interactive, allowing you to grade the student's answers and optionally send it back to the student to answer again. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. If you haven't yet set up a Pro Member account, click Get Started under the GoPro menu to create your Pro Member account.